everyone. One of the most common questions I've been asked over the last five or six months is how to slap tongue. It's something that is required a lot in contemporary bass clarinet and clarinet music and it can be a concept that's quite difficult to understand because you can't physically see what's going on inside your mouth to create the sound. It took me what felt like a lifetime to be able to understand how to slap tongue properly but all it took was that one person explaining it in the way that clicked with me so I'm going to give you a condensed tutorial on how I slap tongue and hopefully something will resonate with one of you to help you. Step one, you just need your mouthpiece, ligature and reed. And the reason that I actually started playing on ligature in the first place was because I was trashing cane reeds, learning how to slap tongue. And I find these way more durable and actually easier to create the slap sound on. So when you've got this all set up, the first step is to actually think about what am I doing to create that sound? So the sound is created by creating suction on the reed, so then the reed pulls back and slaps back onto the mouthpiece, and that's what's creating the sound. The sound isn't your tongue hitting the reed. So to create that suction, it's not the tip of your tongue hitting the reed, but it's your tongue a little bit further back. So I tuck my tongue behind my bottom teeth, and it's that bit there. So I would first of all start to try and do it without an embouchure, and you're just pushing the tiniest bit of air through to try and get that slap. So. Once you've got the suction, now try with more of an embouchure. So still on the mouthpiece, but we're just gonna try and create more of a tone rather than just the percussive sound, so. It's really important to note that when you do this, you have to be pushing your diaphragm. So the air flow needs to go at the same time as when you're pulling your tongue back, because otherwise you're not gonna get any sound. And that's what clicked for me. So now you can try it on your instrument. You could try with your crook, and your mouthpiece first, as a baby step in the middle if that feels more comfortable. Um, but the main difference to note is that the angle of the mouthpiece when it's attached to the instrument is gonna be probably a different angle to when you were just holding it in your mouth so it's gonna feel different. And the other thing to note is you're gonna need even more air to get it to come out through here. So once you've got your instrument, remember, it's not the tip of your tongue, it's further back. And it's the pulling away and slapping back of the reed that creates the sound. Number two, you need to make sure your embouchure is really firm. And that's the one thing that I'm actually not so good at. If you watch me slap tongue, my embouchure and my chin moves too much. So that's something I'm currently working on. But you want to keep it as stable as possible, really. So people shouldn't be able to see that your tongue's moving that much. And final and most important step is making sure your air coordinates with your tongue and there's enough of it to create the sound.